Minecraft Story MODE! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video with yours truly, Alpha Bronco. Sorry, I'm screaming. I am very happy. I got this game when it came out. But decided to play a week after. <clears throat> anyway, I'm excited. Let's just start. I hope you guys are having a great day, by the way. We're going to have a great day. Good morning, good night, wherever it is you are. Or whenever you are watching this. I'm fucking excited. I didn't know about this game until maybe like a month ago. I didn't know, and I, I like, I, I, I like, I love Telltale's game. They're amazing. I've played. Uh, the Wolf Among Us and uh, The Walking Dead. It's amazing! If you guys haven't played that yet, go ahead. I think uh, Walking Dead was uh, on sale on Xbox last week or so. Minimize your memory. Create a Telltale account. Well, shit! Okay. I want to join. Can I do it on the line? Come take the line. Oh, shit. Well, guys, I'll be back. Okay. I think, I think we're good. Yes, it's always time to turn it out. It will be automatically logged into whenever you relaunch a game for a morning video. I'm going to go to, to the Jake. Okay, whatever. Cool, yes! Download. Oh, don't tell me I have to fucking download the, the first guy. The first chapter. Download episode 2 to 5 here. The first episode is already installed to install the first of all online to download them and then manage them from this. Purchase, but not download. Well, anyway, I mean, we're just gonna play the first one for now. Oh, there's achievements too. I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be that hard. So, let's play! Ooh, I can pick my. Shut up! Okay, um. Is that a girl? Yeah, okay, top ones are girls. And I believe they're all named Jesse. Makes sense, Jesse's a name. For a guy and girl. I will go... I mean, I wish it was a redhead. Since I'm a redhead. I mean, you know... I guess, I guess he looks more like me. Uh, I like this dude, though. Light skin dots. I mean, if you could change like his hair or whatever, like I would pick the other one because I don't know who looks better. But... Ooh, the order of the stone. Oh. Cool. So I have not watched uh, anybody on YouTube play. I have not watched anybody at all play this game. I didn't want no spoilers, so I forced myself not to watch anybody play it, even though I really wanted to. This game series adapts the choice you make. The story is tell Nothing fire. built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. 
and Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. best not to talk by the way when uh, the cutscenes are there it's probably gonna be a lot of them maybe not cutscenes but you know when they talk and all but when one story ends another one begins yeah, yeah. would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens yeah just to be clear oh, you wouldn't shit. have any yeah. weapons or armor so you'd have to fight them with your hands I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm hmm And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm hmm I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Well, fuck you. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. <laughs> Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. Nice. <laughs> As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Yeah, buddy. Well, zippity doo dah. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Yeah. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. I think Axel's, Axel's voice is uh, the guy who did uh, Rick and Ralph. Sounds pretty fucking familiar. Anyway. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Of course. <laughs> Sheer is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Uh oh, that's maybe a clue. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Someday. Bug. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll that do. Good. That was fantastic. Yeah, 
purchase. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. Oh, we're gonna burn some shit. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Let's go down. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition's gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Yeah. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. Oh, is he gonna fucking kill her? So, fucking pig? does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, have Olivia. Faith. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry to win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen yeah. than Creepers. Yeah. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. <laughs> Let's zombie. build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a Creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. yeah buddy. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. That's We're so true. prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Prepare.